prey by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. As you're on your feet, intercessors come on forth and ministers. Wow. And I am so grateful. Thank you, God. 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 Thank You don't have to pretend. When you are saved, many of you don't even know. Mother May, she comes in here. She's faithful. Sunday all day. Monday Bible studies. Wednesdays. And the only reason you're here right now is by faith. Her body is literally falling apart. But she keeps on pressing. She walks with a cane. But before she comes through that door, when she can, she'll let the cane stay right at the corner. And she'll walk in and brace herself up against the wall. Just coming proclaiming that God I know my body is passing away. But I trust you. You can't even imagine her pill collection. The medication alone should kill her. There ought to be some hate man. Some of you should have been dead by the chemo alone. They put poison in your body. You should have died. But by grace, how should we dare continue in sin after God has given us so much grace? So much grace. As Minister Jones gets ready to lead us in prayer, invitation, salvation, if you hear, come on for it. Confess with your mouth, O Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead, you will be saved. Don't wait. Ask him right where you are. He comes into your heart. You come forth as an open confession saying, I accepted him. I know he's real. I need help with this war. If you're here today, we invite you to the altar. Second invitation, you're looking for a church home. God has spoken to your heart. Would you come forth? Christian experience all by letter. We don't want to pressure you. God has blessed Ebenezer tremendously. But we do want you to have a home of covering the word of God that's ministered to you. That you can go out and you can win this battle of temptation. Because it's about Christ. It's about his word on the inside. If you're here, Christian experience all by letter. We invite you into this place. Some of you are here and you just need to get to the altar. There are struggles that are going on. You're, you're fighting with relationships, job situations. You don't know where, how your next bill is going to be paid. Come on, come on to the altar. God knows where you are. He knows your experience. He knows your struggle. Some of you have gotten in that situation because you made the mistake. But guess what? God is faithful. Anybody know that he's faithful? He can work some stuff out even amongst schools. He can he can, he can. So come on for it. Uh, final limitation. Some of you have illness in your body. 
Now, I believe God is a healer, but I've learned as I've gotten older, sometimes God allows us to go through a little longer than we like. So we're going to pray for his healing. Maybe this morning you can get healed. You can walk out of here delivered, set free. Or maybe God is saying, you know what? I got some more work to do on the inside. But whatever, we can pray. God, not my will, but let thy will be done. So if you're in the house, would you come forth today? God is faithful. I want to give you some time. Would you come forth? God is faithful. Salvation. Christian experience of our letter. Prayer for family members or yourself. Sickness or disease. God is faithful. He's faithful. God is worthy. He's Let worthy. Let us pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Most holy and all wise yes. God, our Heavenly Father. Thank you so much, God, for saving all of us that have asked you to come into their hearts. Yes. Father God, there's someone standing around that's not so sure about this thing called salvation. But God, I pray in the, in the name of Jesus that the power of the Holy Spirit will come in and just cause that person to come forward because they know they need you as a Savior. They know they need you as a Savior. Thank you, Father God, for your word. There's a war going on. Father God, the war may be cancer. The war may be mental problems. The war may be all the things that can pull us down in this world. But your word, your word is true. And your word is faithful. You are faithful. Your word is forever. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you've given us a way out of all of our temptations. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that those that are going through this morning, this afternoon, Heavenly Father, will just fall down on their knees and ask, Heavenly Father, because we, sometimes we don't get anything because we don't ask for anything from you, Heavenly Father. We may feel that we're unworthy, but God, you said that we were worthy to call on your name because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for the power of the word that you gave today. We thank you that you that the vessel that it came through was powerful and strengthened to come, to come and give your word. I pray, Heavenly Father, that as they travel down to Trinity, North Carolina, Heavenly Father, that your word will be received, Heavenly Father, that it will not fall on bad ground. Heavenly Father, I ask for, uh, for them to have safe travels and continue to... The Heavenly Father continues to strengthen Pastor Woods as he goes out and gives your word. Those that are standing around have various needs, Lord God. Those that are standing in the audience have various needs, Heavenly Father. But your word says that you have already done it. Everything that needs to be done for us to be in fellowship with you. So my desire, Heavenly Father, is that we have a closer walk with you. That we will let nothing come between you. And, and ourselves that we will not heed the, the words of the evil one the words of the devil that we will only listen to what you have to say that we can discern Father God we love you and we thank you for visiting us today in this place we say hallelujah we love you and amen amen and amen face shine upon you. Would you greet someone before you leave today? God is faithful. See you over at Trinity.